The pandemic, of course, changed a lot of Christmas plans this year. Some people ignored health warnings about traveling and gathering with extended family. But ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala shows us how some San Diegans adjusted their Christmas this year to keep everyone safe. Yeah, I was sad this year not being able to spend, you know, the holidays with my extended family and my nephews and everyone, but we make those hard decisions for the betterment of everybody. Any other year, Sonia Highball and her family would be spending Christmas gathered at her sister's house. But in true 2020 fashion, things look a little different this holiday. We actually stayed at home, so with just my immediate family, my boyfriend and our Two sons, we made videos of them opening their gifts so we can share with families so we can feel like we were together. Francisco Garcia can relate. It's just, just us three. While it's hard breaking traditions, Francisco, his wife and daughter also made the decision to spend Christmas at home together. Being a Latino, um, my family chooses to get together every uh, every year for Christmas and have you know food and presents and just having the everyone together is really what uh, we take pride in. And so um, it's very different in the sense that we're not around each other this year. As a registered nurse, he knows all too well the potential consequences of large get togethers right now, especially after the surge in COVID-19 cases following Thanksgiving gatherings. Seeing an influx of patients and the number of patients we're seeing with COVID as a year uh, went on was a big challenge. Health officials across the nation and here in San Diego have urged people to stay home, avoid traveling and large gatherings this holiday season. According to the TSA, more than 840,000 people in the U.S. were screened at TSA checkpoints on Christmas Eve alone, and millions more since last Friday. But many families are playing it safe and still having a great time doing so. It's been fantastic. I think um, the biggest challenge we've had is uh, not burning the Christmas dinner. You know, we have to trust our community. Hopefully other people are being safe so we can be safe. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News.